Hello from Mexico and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today Fidel and I are here because they are on their second day of putting in the electricity and we are marking the outlets where we want them and the switches and everything. So we're going to show you everything they're doing at the house. But first we brought them some uh, lunch. So we're letting them eat lunch and all of that. And then we'll get started on marking. We're going to show you guys where we're putting all of our outlets and uh, how Fidel and I are going to do it. So if you like what you're watching, don't forget to the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Let's, uh, let's go mark some outlets. So our friend Omar opened up a new restaurant, well, a second location, um, and he is actually originally from the States. His wife's name is Patricia, so shout out to Patricia if she watches this. Um, he is here for the same reason Fidel is. He was deported. His family, though, is still in California, and he opened a restaurant here, and so we got uh, tortas from his new restaurant. Um, food's always great, so that's what we brought back. Everybody, giant tortas. <laughs> so shout out to Omar and Patricia. And uh, we're excited that the second location is a little bit closer to us. <laughs> Pancho brought a new polque today. Curado de tuna, del cerro. Está bonita la color. El color, sí. <laughs> El sabor también sabe a... ¿A qué sabe? A ver, que le diga el maestro. Tuna. Tuna. <laughs> Está bueno. <laughs> Mario, un vasito. No. <clears throat> Toma su coca. He's got his paint and his pencil and his tape measure. <laughs> Finally. Okay. In esta pared tienen dos. One is good. Acá la ventana. Sí. Pues dos en este muro. ¿Dos apagadores? No, dos contactos. Esa es la contactos. Separados. Separados. So we have two on this wall. And we are doing ours lower. Um, here we've seen a lot where they're high, like higher up in the wall. But we're abajo. doing ours lower. ¿Cuánto lo quieres? 20 pulgadas, 24. Dos pies. 20, yo pienso. Sí. Así, sí, nada. Now we're measuring for the light switch. Uh, four inches. Pero aquí no. Más por aquí. Pues yo la verdad que siempre tengo la memoria de que es de open la puerta en el quita. No, aquí. Todo. No, no por abajo. No. No, esto que dice. Como así. No, porque ya tiene la altura de la puerta. Entonces, ¿Aquí? Sí. ¿Esto qué es o no qué es? ¿Por qué no lo va a tener a 40? ¿A cuatro pies en última? Ah, sí, cuatro pies, ajá. ¿Sí? Sí, pero, pero aquí más en este lado, ¿no? Sí, pero... Ajá, pies. cuatro pies. Four feet. So there's a lot of things that you don't think about until you have to do a house. So we basically have to think about how you're entering each of these spaces so that we put the light switch in a convenient place for it, if that makes sense. So um, I didn't even think... I've never thought about this. Like, well, I guess this is the first time I made a house, but or that we've constructed a house, but you don't think about things like you have to, you know, imagine walking in and find the best place to put stuff. <laughs> sí, entonces la... The light switch will be over here then. Four feet up. It's 
48 inches. Just so you guys know. Pero son igual a mí, la ¿no? Igual altos. See, esos dos necesita altos porque es la baño. This is the bathroom. They have the window blocked off, so it's a little dark. Ah, pero la. Ah, pero es allá en la intro. La cosa por prender es aquí. No, es en la intro. Es una baño, entonces allá será la puerta. Tú necesitas la, la cosa allá en la intro. This is our life. This is why. Can't look at me. No mira yo como así. Pues es la verdad, ¿por qué pongan la cosa por la luz aquí afuera la baño, loco? A ver. Solo necesito una. Entonces lo pongan las dos aquí en la igual. Okay, this is why I can't be left to do this by myself because I only put two plugs in our whole living room. I'm terrible at this. En realidad, nosotros necesita esto antes de estimado. Voy en marca para quieres los contactos, ¿verdad? Pero está bien. So six in the living room. Just putting two right there, and then we'll have one over here, two on this wall, and one more on that wall. Okay. In the kitchen, we have a plug for the fridge. We have another one that's behind those um, tabiques that you can't see, and it's up higher. We're gonna have one down lower for the stove, um, one on each side of the window, and then we'll have two more in this wall. So seven total plugs in the kitchen, and then the light switch over there on that side. Estamos doblando la varilla, estoy doblando la varilla para el armado del baño. Ok, porque esa uh -huh. losa va maciza, eh, queda 10, 20 centímetros abajo del nivel de losa de vigueta. ¿Por qué? Porque para recibir los tubos de PVC para, los, para el baño. Sí. Ok, sí. por eso es que va de 10 centímetros de espesor concreto. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Sí. Okay, so one of the other things that's happening today is they are pouring the roof on Friday. So we are having a ton of materials delivered today for it. Um, the first one is gravel, which will be mixed in with the cement. So I'm gonna show you guys how uh, that happens here. All right guys, here's the truck. And Don Jose would like the gravel to be right there where they're clearing the spot. So they're gonna put, they're gonna drop that gravel right there in front, which will be the first part of the materials that we need for Friday. ¿Qué tienen, Fidel? No. ¿Qué tienen? ¿Esto? ¿Qué tienen, Calor. Fidel? Calor. ¿Qué tienen, Fidel? Calor. I don't brought tequila for the workers. There it is, guys. Okay, so this is the first gravel drop. We will have a second one that they're gonna go and get and come back. And so it'll be two, uh, two gravel drops. And every time they come and drop something off, but I'll always make sure, makes sure to give them like um, soda and something to drink. Siendo Pancho. Unos estribos para seguir la cadena de este lado del garage. Ah, perfecto. So Pancho and Fidel are going to be working on this portion of the house, which is the garage, the primary bedroom, the laundry room, and the primary bathroom. They'll be working on this portion while these guys continue to get ready for the pour on Friday. We also have the second drop of gravel. Um, Fidel was going to go and collect the sand himself. However, we are on a time constraint because we have a lot to do. And so we are having them bring the sand as well. So they'll bring those probably tomorrow. We've set up our water truck to come because they'll need a water truck while they're doing this pour. And then the cement is also uh, in route, but probably won't be here until later this evening. All right, so that is going to wrap up this house update. 
Um, and Fidel and I choosing where we're putting our outlets and our light switches and all of that. It's been a really crazy week, but we are so excited for this roof to get finished. Um, we will have to wait the 15 days before they can start the second floor, but um, this is really, really exciting for us. The, the thing I was thinking about today was that there were a lot of people saying, you know, it's taken a long time for this house, and, and you're right. I mean, about a year and a half they've been working on this. The foundation, Fidel took his time, and the first floor, they really took their time. They wanted to make sure everything was right. Fidel was doing a ton of other things. We've had, you know, delays come up because of family reasons, all of that. And um, the thing that Fidel reminded me of today was now we're in the, the home stretch, right? Um, we're to the things that are easier. All of the really difficult stuff is done. So um, we're really, really excited to just finish this house and be in it with our boys. Um, it'll be an absolutely crazy and awesome thing. So we appreciate all of you being here. We'll be back uh, on um, Friday morning to film the update of what we're cooking for this pour. Um, all the people that'll be here, we think there'll be about 20 people here for it. So just a lot of different stuff going on. We're really excited. So thank you so much for being here. We hope that everybody is having a great week and we'll see you guys again soon. Bye.